everyone welcome back to the channel uh just great to be here and making videos for you guys once again as always this week the emphasis of the video is going to be sort of on new discs i'm gonna try out soon slash putting league so quickly here uh after getting my allotment here from plastic addicts i'm so grateful for them i'm able to try some molds before i place my mvp allotment order one thing I've realized is a big gap in my bag that I really need to address is my fairway drivers, or are my fairway drivers, I should say. Throughout the shock, the Tesla, the Fireball, they work really well for what I use them for, but I often am finding myself trying to force them to do things they're not supposed to do. My shock is very old and flippy, so as far as that goes, I... I need to find something more consistent, not consistent, I need to find something more readily available to use other than my shock, because I don't want to have to beat up like four shocks, and then if I start losing those, you know, it, it becomes very uncomfortable. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try molds I've honestly never really tried before, except for um, one of these, actually. So I don't change my bag very often, so this is, this is a huge deal, but who knows if they're even going to stick in my bag. This is just the things I need to fill. So what I need is something that's a little more flippy than the Tesla, or that's even a little bit slower in between my mids and my fairways, so I'm not having to throw a nine speed on, let's say like a 380 foot hole or something, or a 360. Uh, that would be like, okay, I'm throwing a mid really hard, my matrix from my reactor, or I'm throwing a fairway driver soft. Especially when there's a low ceiling, it'll open up a lot of uh, possibility for me to score better with, if I have something that's between those two discs. So two things I grabbed are fission bolts. I've never tried the fission plastic really at all, besides maybe a couple of review videos on like the wave and maybe like a photon. But I'm gonna try these out. These should be, you know, pretty comparable to my, uh, to my shock flight being so beat in. And then I have two of the Cosmic Neutron Insanities. My goal for these is for them to be like the same speed as the Tesla, but hold straighter longer, turn over, maybe not even completely come out. And I'm hoping that the Cosmic Neutron Plastic will make them touch more overstable than the Plasma was. Uh, I tried the Plasma up at Deglo for like one day and it was way too flippy for what I was looking for. Next, this is, this is weird for me because I do not like throwing anything below a nine speed, anything with like that slow, like six, seven speed rim, not a big fan. But I have two plasma servos I'm gonna try out. I've heard good things about these. This is the one specific example where I'm hoping I can go a little bit faster than my matrixes and then I can get a, you know, a little bit more low ceiling workable shots with these when my mid won't quite work as I almost drop all these on the floor. So that's my goal with the servo. Okay, yeah. and a couple other things. Okay, I'm dropping them, whatever. So a couple more things. I grabbed these Panics because they're absolutely just sick. It's a normal kind of cool because the color's are really sweet. This is its twin, but if you look there, I'm not sure if you can see, it has really cool swirls in the uh, in the rim slash flight plate. I want to make this game easier for myself. I want to let the, do, the disc do the work for me. I'm very comfortable with my drivers. Um, I'm very comfortable with my mid-ranges and my putters. So it's just something new that I think I can trim a little fat off my game and, you know, just get better in that sense. So the last two discs that are kind of random that I got, I have a Relativity, mainly because it's super sick and I want to start throwing like actual throw slide hyzer or flat, have it pull over and start the, the really long roller in that sense. I don't have that shot in my bag. I used to bag a Proton Drift for that shot. So I want to try something faster. If it works, it works. If not might be a giveaway for a nice relativity on my channel <clears throat> and then lastly i have this blank wave so the the wave is intriguing to me i was messing around with those fission ones and i realized they're not completely unthrowable even in the lightweight fission so i'm interested to try this is a 172 or 173 gram one i want to have the similar concept with that relativity if it's too understable i think the wave will be a nice compliment to throw it nice and like flat with a touch hyzer have it pull over and get those nice those nice hard severe angle like late turn rollers and things like that so i think that'll utilize holes in my bag i'm really waiting for uh us to come out with an understable mid us meaning mvp and i other than that like if i can figure out these flip over rollers in the fairway driver game 
won't say as an understandable mid. I think uh, my bag is is perfect. So, yeah, I've been making these uh, the disc work. You know, I I could definitely put in older options like an Axis or like a Theory or stuff like that. But I don't really want to have to go looking for them, and they're going to come out relatively soon, to my knowledge. Uh, this isn't like a hot take or anything. I, they just announced it, you know, last year, and they're catching back up from COVID, so that's where to justify my thought process and that they'll be out soon. All right, so a little context into what we're about to jump into now is putting leak from last week. It's just going to be some random clips here. Um, congratulations to Drew Mackey. Hopefully I didn't butcher your name. He made the 340 footers to get a $217 bounty. Congrats, dude. That's sick. So, it was a lot to get out, a lot to say. Let's hop into Putting League and just look at some of the shenanigans. We are about to go in and do uh, Putting League. It starts actually in like five minutes. So, we're gonna hop in there. There's a ton of people. I was able to move my car closer to the door, thankfully, because it's freaking freezing out. All right, for most of Here this, go. I'm going to be doing a uh, voiceover just because I don't want to get any copyright stuff so you'll hear the sound kind of come and go as we walk through but here is Z-Reb aka Tom Petty nailed some putts instant interview coming up <laughs> don't worry he'll come over he's very talkative five out of six I got on video it's a champ putting champ all right so here's fuel Zach Fieldberth, just uh, making some putts. I'm kind of showing you the stations too, varied here. This one here is a staggered six putt, three from 20, three from 30. There's that little obstacle in the middle. Uh, the one before that you saw quickly was like 20 footers between some PVC pipe. We are halfway done with the putting league today. It's like uh, 8 o'clock. Um, I'm sitting probably in third place or so. I haven't checked the standings yet. This is fun, guys. I don't care if I win these. This is just a good time. My hands are freezing, too. I actually made this bonus putt uh, thing on a marksman basket, which you'll see. But I missed two out of three 15-footers. So it's just weird. Get after it for round two. Let's try to get in the money. Each of these putts here you're seeing are worth one point. And uh, the only putts that are a little bit different that vary are the 40 footers, which you'll see eventually are worth five points each. And the one on the bullseye basket, which you'll see in a minute, is also worth uh, one point, but if you hit the wall behind it, it's considered as OB. So here's the 40 footers. Unfortunately, I only made one of those each go. Now here's the one where the camera is right by the mat. If you hit the mat, it is considered OB and you miss out on a point or you lose a point. So I failed to film my first entire uh, run through these. So here's just kind of a replay. I made them all the first time and got a two point bonus also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and this is great. So you can hear, get out. Get down. He said he'd do 20 push ups if you wanted. Yes! <laughs> he just said he'll do 20 push ups on And I made it first try. So. Here's fuel with 20 push ups. <laughs> he's paying his bet. He's going for the full he's going for the full 20, I respect it. I respect it. So and here's Carter Bumblow. He's who helped me film my video last week when my phone died. There's Corey Scott. My only 40 footer I made the second time through. So as we uh, let these play through a little bit, and there's an example of the OB, as you see. So I had to make that to cancel out the uh, OB. Second time through on this, I only think I scored three. And that did not go OB. But I ended up with 33 points total. I suck. On the night, that's good for third place. I think I lost by three or four oh. points. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank Jackie you. made cupcakes. No, like Had to give him oh, a quick review, of course. So I'm fat and love cupcakes. Solid. Here's where the money laundering happens. All right, as always, thanks Brad and Tim for running this. There's my crisp $10 bill that I received. Uh, 
team, buddy. Good job. Woo! All right, so there was Putting League. If you are in our area, meaning Central Illinois, it's every Thursday night. Uh, Check-in starts at 6.30. It starts at 7, the actual league itself. Thank you guys always for watching, and thanks to my sponsors, MVP, Plastic Addicts, and Paragon. I'll see you guys in the next one.